Avocado Ninja. <laughs> Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss about campaign influence uh, reporting. So, uh, basically there are two types of campaign influence, which is campaign influence 1.0 and a customizable campaign influence. So here on my uh, developer org, I set up the campaign influence as event distribution. So for you to enable customizable campaign influence, just go to setup and look for campaign influence settings. On the second part of the campaign influence, you would see additional campaign influence models. Then you just need to enable. Once this is enabled, when you go back to your model settings, you would see an additional model, uh, which is the first touch, last touch, and even distribution model. Okay. So just for an example, I uh, just want to show you uh, like an account here. Uh, this is a sample account that I created and I have Ben and Jack Rogers as the contacts. So going to Ben, we have two opportunities which is the Burlington Textile Sweeping Plant Generator and Structural Generator Base. So I'm using this one as an example. Once I go to this opportunity, uh, you would see the contact role Ben Medina is added here as the primary contact source and or the primary uh, contact and uh, he's like the decision maker in this company so that the uh, sales people will know that he's the one to contact if they want to make an offer to make a sale so basically uh, there are like uh, four campaign that is influential for the sale uh, so he, he, since it's on even touch it will have even distribution uh, this would be like a 200 sale, so that's why it's a uh, 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 100,000 sale, so that's why it would be for 25,000 uh, for each campaign. Since it's uh, the default, as you can see here, the default setup is even distribution. So when you go to the opportunities, that's actually the default will be the ones that would be displayed on the related list. Okay. So going to the reports, you can create a report uh, here. Uh, just click on your report. And you will be using the campaign suite influence opportunities. Just remember this report type because uh, if you use an opportunity report, that would not show influence opportunities. Uh, if you use a campaign report, that will also not use or show the influence opportunities. You need to exactly use this report type, which is the campaigns with influence opportunities. Once you have uh, created that, you will have something like this. And you will see that uh, it, all the dip distribution would be added here because you did not filter. So basically what I was saying is that you can filter by using the distribution or the model name. So when you go to the filters or go to the report, you can filter it as even distribution model. If you run that report, then it would show the even distribution. So I have like other samples here as well. So it would show um, like uh, even distribution for uh, each campaign that it is influential. All right. So going back here, we have also, you can also filter it by first touch model and last touch model. So we'll use as Ben again uh, here, Burlington, Texas as an example. You will see the first touch here is Salesforce. When you go to the last touch, it's website tracking. So how, what, how that works is that if the campaign member is added uh, like here, as you can see, the created date is 1022. On the last touch, uh, campaign member is added 1023 on the website tracking. So on the first touch, it shows Salesforce because it's the, this is the very first one that is added 1022 PM. So that's why it's Salesforce. And uh, for the last touch, it is the website tracking because it was added here 1023. So that's actually the, the difference between the first touch and last touch model. 
So I hope that is all clear. If you have any questions, uh, please do let me know. Thanks.